السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ریسپیکٹڈ ویورس یو آر واچنگ یوٹیوب چینل ایور گرین نالج اینڈ آئی ایم ڈاکٹر عابد نواز ریسپیکٹڈ ویورس وی ور ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ایڈیمس سو لیٹ می شیئر سم مور ایڈیمس ٹو ڈے سو دا نیکسٹ ون از گڈی ٹو شوز گڈی ٹو شوز means anyone who thinks that they are perfect. Usage of this idiom is Farhat always acts like he is superior to all of us. It's because he is such a goody two-shoes that no one likes him. Respected viewers, origin of this idiom is Do you know the story of the girl with one shoe on her foot? She wandered around wearing one shoe. So someone felt pity for her and gave her another shoe. But as soon as the girl put on both shoes, she started showing them off to everyone she met and thought that she was just perfect ever since anyone who shows off is called a goody two shoes the next one is handle with kid gloves meaning of this idiom is to treat very carefully and gently usage of this idiom is you should handle children with kid gloves or they might get the wrong ideas from you. Origin of this idiom is, I am sure you know that a young goat is called a kid. Its skin is very soft and smooth. If you were wearing gloves made from its skin, you wouldn't damage anything that you touch. In a similar way, We all have to handle many things in life very carefully. To handle with kid gloves means to be very careful or gentle. Respected viewers, <clears throat> the next idiom is hot under the collar, meaning angry or upset. Usage. Uncle Hafiz was really hot under the collar, so Aunt Arifa gave him a nice cold drink. Origin Have you noticed anyone when they are angry, they start huffing and puffing and their faces and necks become red as if they are going to explode. If you are wearing a shirt, your collar comes above your neck. So we say hot under the collar. In reality, the neck does not become hot. It is just that your blood flows to your head and neck and makes it look red. As if you were hot. The next idiom is keep your shirt on. meaning to be cool and calm, to not get agitated. Usage The two teams were so angry with each other and it looked as if they were going to fight. Thankfully, the referee came along and shouted at them to keep their shirts on. Origin I am sure you have noticed that when people fight, they take their shirts off. Why? You might ask, well, it's very hard to move your hands to punch, sorry, it's very hard to move your hands to punch if you are wearing a shirt. That's why boxers come bare-chested to a fight, keeping your shirt on is to keep calm and not get into a fight. 
The next one is make a silk purse out of a sow's out of a sow's ear. Meaning, trying to make something valuable from something that is worthless. Usage of this idiom is RF's shoes are old and all cracked up, but he is shining them in the hope that they will look new. Now, isn't that trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear? Origin. Respected viewers, many of us still think that a pig is a very dirty creature. A female pig is called a sow. And I am sure that no, no one can make a purse from the skin of a sow's ear. And a silk purse? You would need silk for that. Silk is very valuable. So making a silk purse from a sow's ear is what we say to anyone who tries to make something extraordinary from a worthless thing. Next one, old hat, meaning not very new, quite old, uninteresting. Usage of this idiom is, mom said we would go, we would go to the beach this summer because a mountain camp was such old hat. Origin of this uh, idiom is, an old hat is dusty and is not very fashionable to wear. People usually prefer replacing old and unfashionable things with new ones. So we say that anything which is not new is old hat. Now, <clears throat> the next one is on a shoes string. Meaning of this is with very little money. Usage of this idiom is the woodcutter and his wife, <coughs> sorry, the woodcutter and his wife built their little house on a shoe string budget. Origin. A, use, uh, a shoe string just means a shoelace. It is a very small thing that no one gives much importance to and it doesn't cost very much. <clears throat> like buying a shoestring isn't a very expensive affair. Anything that involves very little money is referred to this way. This thing originated in America in the 80s. So, respected viewers, <clears throat> let me wind up my lecture over here and uh, I hope that this video will be liked by you and you will subscribe, like and share my this YouTube channel and I'll be uh, <clears throat> recording some more videos for you. So, till the next video, let me leave and take care of yourself and of your beloveds. May Allah bless us all. Allah Hafiz.